Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use anchor links with Divi. Now, what is an anchor link? Well, essentially, it's just a way to link to a certain part of a page without having links that go to separate pages or something else. So I'm gonna show you three ways to utilize this. The first way is to put anchor links in your menu. So let's bounce over to a site that I did recently. You'll notice this site here has a one page landing page style layout. So instead of these menu links going off to different pages, if you click them, they're just gonna zip you right to that section of the website. So it's pretty cool. That's one way to use anchor links. Another way is to put a link in an actual page. Here's a page layout that I just recently released to the Divi community, and it's a team or staff page layout. And instead of these profile links going to another page, if you click them, you'll see it'll zip you right down to that bio. So that's another way we can use anchor links. And then a third and final way I'm gonna show you how to utilize these is to make a link that goes to a certain section of a different page. So for example, if we go to this client here, um, they have multiple locations. And what's cool about this is I have anchor links right here, so you could click to you know this link right here and it'll zip you down, but they wanted on the front page a way to click to that certain section on that location. So for example, if we go to the front page, they wanted these links to go to that certain section of the office locations page. So when I click here at this Columbus East location, this would zip me right to that part of that other page. So we're gonna click this, and then there we go. It zips me right to this Columbus East section of the office locations page. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The way this works is anchor links use an ID. So let me go ahead and jump into the visual builder and I'll kind of walk you through how this works and how you can create an anchor link. Again, we're gonna start with the menu, but the first thing that we need to do is we need to place where that link needs to go on the page. So I've created this little section here called anchor one. So I'm gonna go into the actual section settings. I'm gonna to go to advanced and you'll notice that Divi gives us the option to do either a CSS ID or a class. So if you've seen any of my previous tutorials, you know that I use classes a lot when customizing things, but there's also this ID option. Now, there's one important thing to note. IDs are called by a pound sign or a hashtag, and then classes are called by a period or, or a dot. That's how uh, the code knows whether it's a class or an ID. Now, if you haven't used these already, you need to know that you don't actually put the pound sign or the dot here in these fields. This is just what we call upon. And so we're gonna put the hashtag elsewhere. So for example, this section right here, we want to call this, let's call it anchor one. And we need to make sure this is all spelled right. So I'm gonna copy this. So this now has an ID of anchor one, this section here. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, and we're gonna exit the Visual Builder. And I want to make this services link right here, I wanna make this zip down to Anchor 1 when we click that. So I'm gonna go into my menu, and I'm gonna find that services link. And right here is where we wanna actually put the anchor. Now, I've already have a hashtag here, so all we need to do is put Anchor one, I'm just gonna copy and paste that. So we have hashtag anchor one right in the URL. And when I save this, if I go back out to the site, let's go ahead and go back out to the front page, let's refresh. When I click services, this should zip me right down to this anchor one section. Boom, and there we go. So all I did was add the ID right here, and then in the menu, I used this hashtag or this pound sign to call that first anchor that I did. So let's do one more. Let's go down to this anchor two. Let me go ahead and use the visual builder. We're gonna go into this and again, we're gonna assign this an ID and then we're gonna put that in the menu so it'll zip us right down there. So we're gonna go into the section and you can do this with in the text section, you can do this anywhere you, and you can call it anything. Uh, which That's what's really cool. Let's call this one anchor two. And we don't wanna use spaces, which is why I always use dashes or uh, underscores. So, and again, we don't wanna use the hashtag here. We wanna save that for when we call it. So again, we're gonna put anchor to here. We're gonna save that. We're gonna go ahead and save that there. I'm gonna bounce back over to my menu and let's put this in, yeah, let's do service one. We're gonna do hashtag anchor two. And now we save our menu. We're gonna go back out here. I want to go ahead and save and exit those changes. 
And now, when I go back to the menu and I click this service one, this should zip us right down to anchor two. Boom, there we go. So it's that easy, guys. That's how you can put anchor links in your menu. Let me show you how to go ahead and do it in a page. Let's do, uh, let's say we wanna add a link right here and we want this to zip us down to that anchor two. Let's go ahead and go in and let's, I tell you what, we're just gonna add a simple link. Click here to go to anchor two. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a link, but of course you can do this with buttons, you know, any kind of link. And again, the URL was just going to anchor to. We need to add that hashtag or that pound sign there to let that know where to go. And we don't want this to go to a new page, so we're gonna keep that right there. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and once that saves, we're gonna exit the visual builder. Okay, and now, now of course that link color kind of blends in with the blue, but when I click this, this would zip us right down to anchor two section. Boom, there we go, easy peasy. And so that's exactly how I have these first two examples set up. I have the menu links in here, and I put an ID on each one of these sections, and these just zip us right around to the website, which is a really cool way to do if you, if you have a one page or landing page style site. And then on this page, what I just showed you is how I had these. You have an anchor link set right here, and then you just create an ID on this section, and it'll zip you right there. And again, you can use any verbiage you want. You don't have to put anchor. You can use anything you want as long as it just is calling the right section. Now, lastly, let me show you how I pulled this off and how, again, on this example site, you go to click one of these and it takes you right to that section of the site. Now, one thing I wanna show you is if you notice, when I scroll over these, look at the bottom link on the left. It says office locations slash, then you can see the anchor link that I set. So that's essentially gonna how we're gonna do this. Um, I have created a page here that is using a free layout that you can pick up on my joshhall.co site if you'd like. But what I wanna do is I wanna do an example here and I wanna say on the home page, I wanna have a link that takes them right to this section of the ebook right here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and use the visual builder again. And again, I can put this ID anywhere. Divi gives us the ability to put an ID or a class on anything, which is one reason I love Divi so much. So we're just gonna do this whole section. I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna go advanced and I'm gonna give this an ID. Of, oh, it's already got it, email sign up. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. We'll just stick with that ID of email sign up and we're gonna save that. And actually we don't need to save it since it was already in there. So we're gonna exit Visual Builder, discard and exit. Now, what I wanna do is add a link on the front page that's gonna zip us right down to this section. So you'll notice, take this down a little bit, this has a URL of you know, my tutorial site and then slash about me. And so what we wanna do is we wanna take this URL and let's go back to the website. And let's say we wanna, I tell you what, let's go ahead and make this link go to that section of the page instead of just zipping down to the anchor too. So we're gonna use Visual Builder again and you can do this on the back end, doesn't matter how you do this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace this this link here, let's go ahead and look at the link. We're going to use that URL that I just put in there, but we're gonna put that anchor link right here. So what was that? Email sign up, and there we go. So we're gonna go ahead. So this, this link is telling it to go to this site, that page, that section of the page. Let's go ahead and click that, save, and I did Control S to save. Let's exit the Visual Builder. Okay, and now when I scroll down, I should click this and it should go right to that email sign up section on the about page. And boom, there we go. So it's that easy, guys. All you have to do is anywhere on your website, you just create an anchor link and then just call that as an ID with the pound sign and then that will literally take you anywhere. So I hope this helps, guys. If you have any questions on anchor links, let me know. Otherwise, you can utilize this in your menus, page links, or really any way I showed you today. And there might be some other ways. So if you get creative, show me some examples. Let me see what you do and have fun uh, making links that zip around your Divi websites. All right, thanks, guys.